Rahman Rahim, Salaamu Alaikum, respected elders, brothers and sisters, and especially the youth. As you all know, we are doing a review of the book An Najmut Saqib, which is in my hand right now, authored by Muhaddis Nuri. And uh, we have reached the stage where we, this is chapter 4, the third part, we've reached the stage where we are discussing the disputes, ascertaining who is Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Janab muhaddis nuri talks about the deviant beliefs of eight groups whose belief about the identity of, of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam differs from the belief of the Twelvers, that is the Shia Isnashari. Many of these deviant groups have ceased to exist today. However, their presence in history is a grim reminder that there is a very thin line between truth and falsehood. And we should therefore always pray to the Almighty to keep us attached to the truth till our very last breath. Some of those who deviated from the belief of the Shia Isnashari about the Imam Mahdi alayhi salam wrongly, erroneously considered the following personalities to be the promised Mahdi. I give the names who were considered to be, who were wrongly considered to be the promised Mahdi. And the names are Janab muhammad Hanafiya, who was one of the sons of Amirul Mu'mineen alayhi salam, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq alayhi salam, Ismail, the son of Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, Imam Musa Qazim alayhi salam, Muhammad, the son of Imam Ali Naqi alayhi salam, and even Imam Hassan Askari alayhi salam. Muhaddis Nuri then presents the belief of the Twelvers, the Shias, about Imam Mahdi alayhi salam in the following words, and I quote, They, that is the Shias, regard his eminence, the righteous successor, Hujjat ibn al-Hasan Askari alayhi salam, as the promised Mahdi and the awaited Qaim, who is not seen by people and who visits the provinces. All the previous Imams have clarified his name, description and qualities and also reported about his imminent occultation. And all this was recorded before the birth of the holy Imam alayhi salam in reliable books of the trusted scholars. Muhaddis Nuri further mentions that the description of the Imam is mentioned in the heavenly scriptures and the writings of the people of the book namely the Jews and the Christians and these writings were accessible to them and it led to some of them even embracing Islam. We now pray to the Almighty to keep us steadfast on the belief of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam and protect us from deviations during these difficult times. Khuda Hafiz.